When Taylor Swift and Brittany Mahomes were in different suites for the Chiefs game, it was the beginning of the end of their friendship. And also the end of the end of their friendship, because the beginning of the end of their friendship never actually began. Okay, now we're super confused. Someone explain. So Taylor Swift and Brittany Mahomes' friendship is stronger than ever. They were yucking it up at the U.S. Men's Final. They were sitting right next to each other, and she whispered in Brittany's ear, and they were giggling. It looked like so much fun. Yes, looks like reports of their rift over Brittany being a Trump supporter have been greatly exaggerated. And they're teaching the country a powerful lesson. You can be friends with everybody. We don't have to be divided. Yeah, actually, a lot of people think it's a really good thing that you you don't have to hate people you disagree with. You can be friends. But you don't have to hate half the country. But you can if you want to, which is what makes America so awesome! And speaking of awesome, how in love are TNT? They were kissing the whole time, dancing. They were very affectionate at the US Open. I'll give them that. Am I the only one that's looking at this US Open stuff and just thinking, okay, I get it, you're in love, but the singing. Oh, I love it, I love it. She's not allowed to enjoy her boyfriend at an event. It's so obnoxious, it is so performative. It is definitely performative because the honeymoon part is over. That is not true. The honeymoon is clearly not over. Yeah, for some people, the honeymoon never ends. Though most of the time it does, because marriage is more about comfort than happiness, if we're being honest. Hope you enjoyed the tennis, ladies.